Um, we've been trying to win the Senior Cup for years. Um, we lost in the final once. Um, this is probably my last season with the club and it's the only trophy we've not won to date. So it sort of completes the full set for us. So absolutely delighted. If I had to choose one trophy and win this year, it would have been the, the Senior Cup. So. Yeah, it's an absolutely incredible feeling to have won the Irish Senior Cup last weekend. Um, we won the Jackie Potter the week before, but I mean, winning an, an All-Ireland trophy is, it means a lot more to us, to be honest with you. And um, We've been competing on the Irish stages now for the last three or four years under Mick McKinnon, and um, we've managed to kind of um, gain two IHLs under him, but we really wanted the Irish Senior Cup. Is as you say, it's a multi sports club. Um, the cricket section have been very successful here. Um, Kevin O'Brien, who's one of the top players in, in world cricket now, um, is here, and, and that acts as an inspiration to some of the girls. He's, uh, his girlfriend is manager of the team, um, and uh, our men's section won the national world cup this year, which obviously uh, gave us something to, to, to aspire to. It's a title we've won before as well. Um, so, yeah, it's, re it's really good, and, and, and to be to be part of a club that um, two years ago we hosted the European Championships here and the whole club come together, the soccer section, the rugby section, everyone, um, and uh, it's a fantastic place to be. years old when I started and I was in the Colts. We have there's a cult section here and they play every Sunday. So I played kinda every Sunday. I was very eager when I was that age. And uh, then I just grew up through the Colts really and then when you hit around sixteen you're able to play for the first division. LA Union it's an incredible club really to be honest with you. As you can see in the background maybe there's cricket, there's soccer, um, rugby and hockey. There's a lot going on down here even though maybe it might be known as a small community, there's a lot happening. Um, the hockey community down here is really welcoming. I'm only here six years now in the club, but from the minute you come in here, there's just a warm atmosphere. We're, we're blessed to have a lovely clubhouse, which was renovated when we hosted the Europeans two years ago. So, um, yeah, no, it's a, it's a fantastic atmosphere socially and then obviously on the pitch as well. younger I was about maybe 15, 16 and going to watch like I don't know who would have been could have been Pegasus or a team like that like a really brilliant team at that time and I always thought our railway will never get to an Irish Senior Cup final because we were like probably the bottom of the first division and we weren't very good and uh, I never really I always wanted to get to a final obviously but I never thought that it could be possible that we'd win it when I was that age obviously but um, then Mick kind of joined the club and we developed and we kept you know, developing the team and we got a lot stronger and better and started winning things kind of in his first two years or so and then he stayed with the club and we just kind of got better and better. The IHL is another big focus for us this season um, we we won it last year so we'll be really looking to um, retain it this year um, It's it's a big tournament, tough matches now over the next few weeks right through April with the finals weekend in the first weekend of May. So we're hoping to be in that finals weekend in May. But there are a lot of tough teams, Loretto, Pegasus, at Ulster Elks, um, Hermes, Catholic Institute, I can't remember. But there are a lot of top teams in there from around the country. So yeah, it'll be tough, but we're, we're hoping to be in the finals weekend. Irish Hockey League is very special to us. It was the first Irish trophy we won in 2010 and uh, we won it back last year, 2012. So it would be a lovely way to go out and win the double. Um, we're in a really tricky pool. All four semi finalists from last year are in the, pool, the same pool this year, um, based upon sort of last year's provincial league finishings. Um, but Irish Hockey have changed that as of next year and it'll be based upon Irish Hockey League finishes in the future. But it's going to be a tough pool. Um, but really looking forward to it. I, 
I see it as being in a very good state. Um, we just appointed two new national coaches. Um, both our national teams have been improving uh, over the years um, to reach a stage where hopefully in the future they can challenge at world events. Um, it's, it's in a good state. There's a lot of good young players coming through, so exciting times. strong players staying in railway because uh, you see a lot of kind of clubs with their players kind of moving to other clubs or going to college and going to college teams but we seem to have kind of a good solid kind of background of players that wanted to stay in the club and they went through and yeah I think Mick also was a big reason why we did so well he's a very good coach and then we had we've had a few different assistant coaches throughout the years but They've just been able to develop the younger players as well. We have a few younger players coming through and the cold section is very...